windy outside. Is that why it's called a window? Well, we talked all the um, different options through. It's a big deal. Oh my gosh, I don't know. situation right now. Alice was there originally. Edward jumped up. Alice swatted at Edward. Yeah, no. Edward was, was there originally, originally, but then he left and then Alice jumped up and then Al Edward, oh wait, oh wait, what's going to happen here? Okay, okay. Good job, Edward. Alice, you meanie. The bigger cat. Normally you're not the meanie. Today you're being a little mean. It is windy outside, you guys. Um, there oh is. Oh my gosh. It is so windy outside. Is that there. why it's called a window? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Maybe it like lets in the wind. That is very genius. I never thought about that. A wind o. Oh. It's a, a wind, wind square. Oh. A wind square. <laughs> Maybe they started out as O's. Maybe they did. I don't know, that's crazy. All right, you guys, we have quite a day today. Can I tell you a little bit about what's gonna go on today? Okay, today is kind of a big day for several reasons. Well, first of all, it's very windy out there. Katie's doing an art project. Neither of those two things are making it a big day. <laughs> but today is April 31st, which means it's the day before May 1st, which means it's the day before Brennan. I'm sorry, April 30th. Today's April 30th. That's right. There's not even 31 days in April. I'm supposed to find out if I got into AIM today. Kate is supposed to find out. That's the number one thing. Kate is supposed to find out if she got into AIM today. And AIM is the, um, the summer seminar for the Coast Guard, U.S. Coast Guard Academy. So Katie is interested in attending the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. That's one of her options that she would like to make happen for um, her post high school education. So for college. <laughs> and AIM is a program, what does it stand for? Um, it stands for something, I can't remember what, AIM. But anyway, what the, <laughs> what the Coast Guard does, the Coast Guard Academy does, is you can apply to attend the Coast Guard Academy for like a week in the summer. And, um, and they put together a program to let you know what it would be like actually if you went to the Coast Guard Academy. It's like an okay. introduction. But it's also like the most realistic out of all of them. It's like, so out of like all of the service academy um, summer programs, um, it's like, you know, the, like AIM is the hardest, like the most yeah. realistic. Yeah, and it's very hard to get into. But anyway, oh, she also, I will say, applied for the Naval Academy Summer Seminar. She did not get into that, but that's okay. That. Okay, that doesn't preclude her from applying to the Naval Academy. So anyway, so that being said, um, she's supposed to find out today if she gets into that, number one. Number two, Brennan, as you know, applied to the U.S. Naval Academy. Um, for us, what seems like forever ago. He did get into the summer seminar, but that was turned virtual because of COVID. That was a long time ago. Okay, he did that when he was my age. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, and then, um, so he had to apply to the academy, and one of the things you have to do is you have to get a nomination from your senator or your congressman which that was like a huge amount of applications and interviews and a whole nine yards. He got a senatorial nomination. So I don't know if we shared that with you guys, but that's a huge big deal. So our senator, one of our state senators, um, nominated Brennan for the academy. So that's a big deal. So he has that. So to get into the academy, you have to be accepted by the academy and you have to get a nomination from your uh, congressman or your senator. Do you have to get a nomination? Yes, you do. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not for, the, told me that. not for the Coast Guard Academy. Well, Jackson told me that if you're... So he's at the point now where he's waiting for his application to be approved or declined. And they were supposed to have that done by April 15th. And today is April 30th. They, April 15th was like approaching and we hadn't heard, we hadn't heard, or he hadn't heard. So I got on some of the chat rooms and chatted with the Naval Academy um, admissions and they were like, well, we're delayed. We're gonna let everybody know by the 30th. So now it's like 15 more days you have to wait. Like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Well, so we thought maybe like we'd hear or he'd hear maybe the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, none, 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 none. Today is the 30th, this is the last day. And he has to let his other colleges know tomorrow mm -hmm. whether he accepts them with their admission or not. So today is kind of a crazy day. I'll tell you why it makes it even more crazy, and this is the deal. Okay, so 
you know, the Academy might come back and say no, and that's totally fine. And then Brennan gets to choose between his other schools. End of story. Totally wonderful, as a matter of fact. That would be phenomenal. <laughs> um, if the Academy comes back and says yes, there are lots of different degrees of yes that they could give you. They could say, yes, you have a direct admission, which means, you know, starting in July, you go for the summer and then you are an um, academy midshipman forever or for four years. Mm -hmm. And then, or the second thing is they could say, yes, we've accepted you, but we are going to send you to the Naval Academy Preparatory School, which is like a, um, yes. NAPS. Yeah. And it's like a, um, it's a one year, like, um, call it military prep school that you would go there for a year and yeah, then you go to the academy. Yeah. A lot of people do that. The third option is that they could accept you and they could say you have to go to a foundation school. Now foundation school just means there's there are a few um, prep schools throughout the United States that the Naval Academy Foundation would subsidize your um, uh, admission to, but it's basically like going to be a senior all over again in a private school somewhere in one of these schools that, that are approved. And then from there, um, they have like a 95% acceptance rate into the academy from there. So, but we'd have to pay for that, for a portion of that. So the, this is the thing. It'd be one thing if they like came back and say, no, um, you didn't get in. Okay, great. Then Brennan can go to his other schools and be like, this is the one I want to go to. If they say we're yes. We're not hoping you... for that. We're not hoping that he doesn't get into the Naval Academy. No, we're not hoping for that. No. I'm just trying to explain what everything is. How <laughs> I'm trying to get through this. So anyway, it takes a lot of concentration because there's a lot going on here. So he... Yeah, we're not hoping that he doesn't get into the Naval Academy, but that would help the decision process. If he does get into the Naval Academy, it would be super duper crazy amazing, but then you have to decide, okay, okay, if it could be direct admission, fine, and that, that starts, you still have to make that decision, you wanna do that. The second thing is, um, it could be NAPS, which I think would be amazing, but does Brennan wanna take another year before the Academy, and that's in Rhode Island. And then the third one would be foundation school. Then you just like start to go, okay, well, which school would I be going to, and how much does it cost, and, when do I leave and like all that information. So all of that nor for a normal college, like let's say you applied for a normal college and you got your acceptance, let's say in like February, you have from February or March until May 1st to like sort all that stuff out, sort out the finances, sort out your living arrangements, all that stuff. In this instance, like we've kind of been in a holding pattern because we're waiting to hear from the academy. So he's started to like work these other schools through his head, but like still, I'm not sure I might be going to the academy. So I don't want to go too far down one path. So it's been, it's been a lot of consternation on my part, maybe not on his, he plays it so cool and calm. I don't know. Um, he's, I don't know what's going on inside his head. I mean, we've had some talks, but anyway, so we're, we should find out here in the next two, three hours. So, and then um, I think it's gonna be quick decision time because they, the academy in, in the chats, they were saying that the academy said that they are not going to extend the um, time to choose um, whether you're gonna accept the, the um, letter of appointment or not. So that means like he would find out today and if he finds out today and say yes, he'd have to let them know by tomorrow. That's like, that doesn't give a lot of time to That's like figure decision. all that. It's a big decision. Like the next four years of your life, you gotta decide in one day. Not next four, next nine. Because once you do the academy, right. then you commit five, five, years. five years to the service. So at least nine years. So it's a big, it's a big deal. And the academy's lifestyle is way different than it would be at a regular college, especially now with COVID and all the restrictions on um, on the, what they call the yard, which is the campus of the Naval Academy. There's tons and tons and tons of restrictions above and beyond the regular restrictions that they have for being in the military and, and being in a military school. So there's a lot to consider. So um, today's going to be a little bit, I'm, I'm anticipating that today is going to be an exciting day. We'll put it that way. The difference between or, an ordeal and adventure is your attitude. And it's all good, all good. All the options are fantastic. So wherever he lands is where he's supposed to be and pretty excited about it. So stay tuned, find out what happens. What do you hope for, Kate? Um, that Brennan's happy. Me too. Me too. That's really all I care about. All right. Very good. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, it is a little bit later in the day and I'm a little, I'm dressed up. I'm going to a retirement party right now and retirement ceremony and party. But I have to tell you that it's been a very exciting day. Um, things played out very well for Brennan. We're very excited for him. He's made his decision. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Probably have to wait till tomorrow's video because we have something exciting planned in the way that we're going to reveal. But we're pretty excited. Mike, are you excited about Brennan's college decision? Mm-hmm. Oh.
<laughs> his little mouth washes. <laughs> we're going out. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it for now. We're not gonna let you know what it is until tomorrow, and then um, we will celebrate big time. So um, we did not film while well. we talked all the um, different options through and the questions that we asked. Well, maybe tomorrow we'll tell you about sort of how he came to his decision and um, the things that he considered and thought about as he was doing it. So. Um, anyway, good luck to you all today. I know there's a lot of you out there who are planning on maybe going to college after you graduate this year, and today was your day to decide. Maybe you've already decided. Maybe those of you who are finishing um, high school are not gonna move on to college, and that's awesome too. Good luck to whatever it is you decide that is your path for you. So we're, again, we're very, very excited, very proud of Brennan, and can't wait to tell you, exa tell you guys exactly what it's gonna be. So stay tuned, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.